Running out of gas is a huge inconvenience. No driver wants to be left stranded with an empty tank and no gas station in sight. However, if you happen to have another vehicle with gas in the tank, or if you are travelling with a friend in another car, it is possible to take gas from one vehicle and put it in another. The question is how to siphon gas out of a newer car. Siphoning gas is not an overly complicated process, but it can be dangerous. It has become more difficult over the years due to many modern cars having a rollover valve or anti-siphon screen, preventing fuel from coming out of a tank in a crash. Due to the risks to your safety, you should only siphon gas if you are in an emergency situation and have no other option. In this video, we'll share how to siphon gas out of a newer car and cover the answers to many frequently asked questions about siphoning gas. Check the video description for links to some recommended gas siphoning equipment. Siphoning gas from a car. How it works. Siphoning gas from a car without any machinery is possible, thanks to gravity. The science of siphoning is fairly straightforward. To siphon gas from a car, you will need a long hose or flexible piece of tubing. To remove the gas from the tank, you will need to insert the hose into the tank via the gas cap on the side of the car. Once the siphon is inserted, you now need to place the other end into a gas can. This must be positioned lower than the height of the car gas tank. This is where gravity and the nature of liquids come into play. Air pressure inside the gas tank will begin to force the fuel into the hose. Once the fuel enters into the hose, gravity will pull it out of the tank and into your waiting gas can or container. The gas will now continuously flow from the tank due to the cohesive nature of liquids. If you want to speed up the process, you will need to create suction to change the air pressure in the fuel tank. To do this, you can either use your mouth, your finger, or a specifically designed siphoning pump. You've probably seen people in movies siphoning gas with their mouths. Whilst this is a quick way to create suction, swallowing gasoline can be dangerous. A safer alternative is to place your finger over the exiting end of the hose and lift your finger up and down like your foot on a pump. The easiest way to create the suction necessary to quickly siphon gas from a car is to use a siphoning pump. Attach the pump to the end of a hose that is coming out of the car and pump until you see the gas flowing towards you. Once the gas is moving, you can stop pumping and let gravity do its job. Is it illegal to siphon gas? Siphoning gas from another person's vehicle is a criminal offence. As siphoning gas is theft, those that carry out this action can end up having to pay a fine or even serving jail time. However, if you need to siphon gas from your own vehicle for your generator at home, your lawnmower, or to help a friend out in an emergency, this is not a crime. If consent is given to siphon gas or you are just swapping gas from one of your vehicles to another, you are not about to end up in prison for doing so. How to siphon gas out of a newer car. Siphoning gas from a car used to be an easy process. All you needed to do was push your hose down into the gas tank and there was nothing to get in your way. As the years have passed, many newer cars have a rollover valve or anti-siphon mesh installed, blocking the entrance into the fuel tank. The rollover valve prevents pressure from building up inside the car fuel tank during normal operation. The valve enables vapour and pressure to escape from the fuel tank when any changes in temperature may occur. Essentially, the rollover valve helps the tank to breathe. Another important function of the rollover valve is to prevent any fuel from escaping the tank if the car were to roll over in a collision. Siphoning gas from newer cars is more difficult. However, it is not impossible. If you have a newer car and need to siphon gas out of a fuel tank, here is a step-by-step -step guide. 1. Get all of your equipment ready. You will need 8 feet of plastic hose that is only a quarter of an inch in diameter, a thicker hose, a gas can or large container, and a siphon pump if using. 2. You will need to create a narrow end on one end of the hose by cutting it at an angle. You will then need to open the gas cap on the side of your car. 3. To get past the rollover valve, you will need to use a pushing and twisting motion. You cannot easily thread a hose into the fuel tank of newer cars. You will only make it past the valve by twisting, 
This is also why you need to use a narrower hose. 4. Make sure your gas can or container is positioned lower than the fuel tank of your car. This is so that gravity can effectively siphon the gas out of the car. 5. Once your siphon hose is inserted, attach the free end to a thicker hose. Attach the thicker hose to the siphon pump and start to pump until the gas begins to flow. 6. Remove the pump, block the end of the hose with your hand, and then place it into the gas can. 7. Gravity will now do the rest of the work. The gas will continue to flow out of the tank into the gas can until either the tank is empty or you lift the end of the hose higher than the gas tank, stopping the pull of gravity. Now, let's go over some frequently asked questions about siphoning gas. How do I bypass an anti-siphon device? Siphoning gas from a car with an anti-siphon device can be difficult, especially if you are trying to use the more traditional siphoning methods. To bypass the rollover valve when siphoning gas, you just need to follow the steps we have shared in this article. You can bypass an anti-siphon device, but you will need a much narrower hose and a little more patience. Is it bad to siphon gas? Siphoning gas from another person's vehicle is a criminal offence in all 50 states and you can land you with a fine, court proceedings or even jail time. Siphoning gas can also put your health at risk. Accidentally swallowing gas can lead to aspiration. This is when fluid gets into the lungs. Aspiration can cause pneumonia and in serious cases can lead to a coma or death. How can you tell if someone is siphoning gas? It can be difficult to know for sure if someone is siphoning gas from your vehicle. However, if you monitor your gas levels closely after each journey, you will be more aware if your gas tank is empty and quicker than it should be. There may also be damage to your gas cap if someone has been siphoning gas. You may notice scratches and dents where thieves have tried to open a locking gas cap, for example. How to get gas out of a car without a siphon. Siphoning is the easiest and most effective method of draining gas from a car fuel tank. If you do not have all of the equipment necessary to siphon gas, you can try draining the fuel tank from beneath the car rather than through the gas cap. However, this method of draining gas will not work on all car models. You will need to get below your car and locate the fuel tank. It is a large metal container on the same side of a car as your gas cap, where you put the fuel in. Using a wrench or spanner, you will need to release the small bolt beneath the fuel tank. This is the plug. Make sure you have placed a big enough container under the plug to catch the gas. Reinserting the bolt will be extremely difficult to do while the gas is draining out, so only use this method if you are happy to remove all of the gas from your fuel tank. If you don't have a siphon, you can make your own using a garden hose or other long piece of flexible tubing. To summarize what we talked about in this video, knowing how to safely siphon gas from a newer car is a valuable skill and may just help you out in an emergency situation. Siphoning gas may no longer be as easy as weaving a hose down into a fuel tank but it is still possible to siphon gas out of newer cars. Here we have shared an easy to follow step-by-step -step guide on how to siphon fuel from newer cars. If you ever find yourself in desperate need of gas, we hope this article helps you to successfully and safely siphon the gas from your car. Also, as a final reminder, it is illegal to siphon gas from someone unknowingly, so be smart and don't steal gas. Also, be very careful as it can be very dangerous. We do not recommend siphoning gas and do not take responsibility if you decide to do it. Be safe. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of our videos.